with induction. <laughs> All right. What I'm the best way that I can go ahead and explain what we're going to be trying to do. All right. Is let's say we have dominoes. Right. Does anybody go on and play with their dominoes? No. Never play with the dominoes. Okay. Well, dominoes, if you have everything, you can arrange them right in a row. And then what you do is you just knock over the first one. And as long as you arrange them correctly, they keep on knocking down each one subsequently and then all the way to the end. And then you have a whole row of dominoes that now you have to go and pick up, right? So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be treating a lot of our um, summations in this exact same point. So there's a couple things that we need to show to make sure that something is going to be true, all right? So the first thing that we're going to look at is we're going to need to prove that that first domino is going to fall. <laughs> All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to show that we can prove the first domino is going to fall. And then that, obviously, if the first domino can't fall, it's going to be difficult to prove that the rest of the dominoes are going to fall down, right? There's certain different cases that, we can, that we'll speak about. But the first thing to have this whole road fall is you got to have everything fall down, right? All right. Then what we need to do is you guys notice that each one of these is kind of like plus one, right? So domino plus one, domino plus one, domino plus one. So what we're going to want to prove is that we can get to the point of s of k plus one. But how are we going to get to our ending value of s of k plus one? All right. So to do that, the way that we're going to prove is first we're going to prove that s of 1 is true. Then what we're going to prove is we're going to call this s of k. And then we're going to call each one of these dominoes a of k plus 1. So what we're going to say is if we can take our value of s of k, add it to a of k plus 1, and if that equals s of k plus 1, all right? If that equals our s of k plus 1, then we'll be able to prove that no matter how long this goes on, right? Let's say this, this domino series goes on infinitely. We know that the next domino is going to knock over the next one, and which is going to knock over the next one, which is going to knock over the next one. All right? So as long as we can show that, one, the first domino is going to fall, and then two, that our s of k, our rule for k, plus all the terms added to it, or, one, or the next term added to it, is going to equal our final value of s of k plus 1. All right? This is a very abstract example using dominoes. I'll show you what I mean when we're going to do um, some problems. All right? But that is just a basic understanding of with our induction that we're going to use.